morning once again on my way home from first grade. Thank you for joining for Ask Me Your Advisor FinTech Questions. This is the new Salesforce CRM edition. How about that? What do you think? Salesforce jumping into the waters once again with a revamped Salesforce CRM platform. I will, usually what I do is I record these periscopes. Whoa, that's loud. As I was saying, I record these, I post these to my YouTube channel, so I'm gonna link down below on my YouTube channel to the Wall Street Journal article covering the new Salesforce for CRM. There's also an article from financialplanning.com. I saw it from Craig Ullincott, so kudos to Craig for uh, posting that. And Craig's had a great observation, great comment that the new Salesforce is likely best suited for the large broker dealers, for the large RIAs, which is one reason why United Capital was part of the sampling group. I don't know if they were beta testing it, but certainly part of the sampling group. Uh, so Craig makes a comment that it's probably not well suited for the individual RIA. And it's just interesting commentary to see Salesforce with traction or lack of traction among independent RIAs. And I don't know what this new edition is going to do to affect the existing implementations of Salesforce among broker dealers, large broker dealers. How long is it going to take? It's kind of like new Android software coming out for your Android phone, but then your carrier like T-Mobile or AT&T doesn't release the new version of Android. So is that what's going to happen with this new edition of Salesforce? Salesforce rolls out the edition, but how long is it going to take for your enterprise, for your broker dealer to incorporate the changes? Because I'm sure some of them have made investments in customization, tweaking to make it work the way that they want it to work. And that's the beauty of Salesforce. And now Salesforce changes the UI, it changes where the fields are. How is that going to interrupt things? So I'm curious if you're a user of Salesforce in the enterprise or you've spent a lot of money and time on customization of Salesforce. I think this can't be exciting for you, but maybe it is. I don't know how willing you are to give up and modify those customizations to go to the newest edition of Salesforce. So interesting commentary to see whether or not this is really going to increase their adoption. I'm skeptical on the independent RIAs, but from broker dealers, from enterprises, I think it gives them a reliable platform from a trusted name, huge name in the CRM industry. Uh, but what's interesting in that article I linked on financial planning, some industry researcher commented, hey, if I were like an existing CRM provider, Redtail, Juncture, Advisor's Assistant, even uh, Tamarack and Advisor CRM, I'd be really scared, I'd be concerned. And I disagree, no way. There's so many more integrations, so much more support from a community for those other CRMs. And Salesforce has, it has integrations, but they're really small and they're real just tight. They talk about integrating with Yodely for account aggregation, but I don't, I, I don't see any huge players in financial planning software. Um, and it, one of the interesting things to look at is Orion Advisor Services. They're a big proponent of Salesforce. They have apps in the Salesforce App Exchange. So if you want to hear straight from the horse's mouth, you call up Orion Advisor Services. Maybe you are already a user of Orion Advisor Services and get the scoop from them because of how much experience they have in the past few years of supporting advisors using Salesforce and offering integrations, offering App Store uh, programs. So just an interesting discussion. I'm, I guess I'm cautiously optimistic. I want every financial advisor to be successful in this business. And if the new version of Salesforce helps the advisors get there, great, great. But if it causes more pain, I don't like that, right? But innovation and modernization doesn't come without risk and it doesn't come without a little bit of headaches. So I, I'm curious to what you know. Uh, I don't know that there's enough time to punch in some hearts or punch in some comments here on Periscope. But again, I'm gonna record this uh, so you can put your comments below in YouTube if you're watching the YouTube replay. I'm always on Twitter. Send me a tweet, at Bill Winterberg. Let me know your thoughts on the new Salesforce Wealth Management CRM that was announced yesterday. Again, post in the articles below uh, if you're gonna watch this on YouTube. Uh, what do I have to do? I have to. 
get ready for the third episode of Tech Tour, episode two, posted yesterday. Go watch it, learn about Anthony Valente. Episode three is editing right now, being edited, and it'll get published sometime next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. So thanks for watching this Salesforce edition of the Periscope. Ask me your advisor FinTech questions. And I do solicit questions. I keep an eye on this area here, and sometimes I just don't see questions coming up. So I get to be on my soapbox about Salesforce CRM today. So there's some hawks screaming in the background. Yeah, I'll be there, Scott. Nashville, Tech Tour. We are building it into the itinerary. So it's 61 degrees, enjoying the day today. Thanks for paying attention to the uh, Periscope. I'll post this on YouTube. Let me know what you think about Salesforce. Seize the day, enjoy the day, and do the best you can for your clients. Thumbs up, everyone. See you guys later.